Well, what are you still doing up? Oh, I thought I'd come out and get some air. And have a little heart to heart with your son? <laughs> oh, I'm getting really bad at keeping my feelings hidden in my old age. No. It's funny. Before you got here today, I was all worried about what might be going on in my house after I went to sleep tonight, and now I seem to be a little worried about what's not going on. At our first fight, I guess we'll work it out. Until you really let go of this house, I don't think you will. And Dawson, until you can start waking up every day and thinking about yourself, I don't think you're ever going to be able to be in a relationship and go to school and begin the life that you deserve to have. All right, well, I plan on doing all those things. I just want to make sure that you and Lily are set first. You are done. Right now, this is where it ends. Mom. <laughs> no. It's time. Look, I am probably more guilty than you know. I mean, there's part of me that has loved having you around, but it's just not fair, and it's just not right. And seeing you tonight with Jen and realizing how much she wants you in Boston, it, it's made it all clear to me. I mean, the girl is head over heels smitten with you. She, she really cares about you and your future. I don't know how I would have gotten through all this without her. Lily and I will be okay. I promise. I'll hire some help around here if I need to. So, Dawson, go to Boston. Live in that attic. You have been such a help to me the past few months. I can't even begin to say thank you. I feel the same way about you that I know your father. of you.